Hey guys, my name is Demis Rizli and in this video I'm going to show you how I edit my night photos. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I color grade my night photos using Lightroom. So this is a topic that a lot of you have asked for. You guys want to know how I make my lights kind of glow in my night photos and also how I color grade my blues and orange tones. So we're going to get through that in this video. Personally, I got into taking night photography because I was working a nine to five job and the only time I could go out and shoot was at night and on the weekends. So. I was able to practice my night photography a lot and because I was doing this so much I learned how to edit them and create my own style from these night photos. So I'm also going to be giving the free Lightroom preset that we're going to be creating together so you can turn your photos from this to this. So yeah stay tuned to the end of this video to see how you can get this free preset for yourself. And if you do use this free preset make sure you tag me in your Instagram posts or stories so I can see your edits. Alright so let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you guys how I color grade my night photos. So I've already imported the image I'm going to edit into Lightroom and the first thing I usually do is fix any lens distortions in the image. To do this I'm going to go to the lens correction panel and turn on remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. In this case, I was using my friend's Sigma 70-200 lens with an adapter on my Sony a7 II, so Lightroom didn't pick up the lens profile automatically, but that's okay because the image itself doesn't really have any distortion, and we're going to turn these on anyways because it'll be part of the preset we make. Okay, so next I go to the transform panel and straighten the image. To do this, I click on this button here, and then draw four lines, two vertical and two horizontal that should be vertical and horizontal in real life. This is just a personal choice of mine and differs with each photo, but generally I like to keep my images straight, especially architecture or urban photos. I also have a more detailed tutorial on how to straighten your photos, so I'll link that on the top right corner of this video. Then after this, I usually crop the image to get the composition I want. So click on the crop button, pick 4x5 as it will be posted to Instagram, and then pick the composition you want. To help me compose, I usually toggle the guidelines by pressing O on my keyboard. This will help me center things I want to keep centered and help me compose my image in general using the rule of thirds guidelines. Alright, so now let's begin the color grading process. So the first thing I usually do is adjust the temperature and the tint. For temperature, I go more towards the blue end and for the tint, I go for slightly towards the magenta. This is the beginning of how I get the cool tones to my night images. Next, I push up the exposure and contrast slightly higher just to brighten up the image a bit and bring out more details. And then I also push up the highlights and shadows as well. By pushing up the highlights, you can create a bit of a glow effect from the light in the image. And by pushing up the shadows, it'll help bring back those super dark parts in the image, like in the top area of this photo. Then I just continue down the list of sliders. I push the white slightly higher, black slightly lower, increase the texture and dehaze a bit, and push down the clarity ever so slightly. Again, this will help with adding a bit of that glow effect to the image. And then as I like my colors to pop out in my images, I increase the vibrance and saturation as well. As you can see from just adjusting these first sliders, there's already a huge difference from the original image. All right, so now let's work on the individual colors using the HSL and split toning panels. For me, I like to start from the saturation sliders just to control the amount of each color first. So generally, I would slightly increase the reds, oranges and yellows, and then decrease the greens then increase the aquas and finally slightly decrease the blues, purples and magentas. For the hue sliders, the most important ones to note would be the green slider moving towards the yellow slightly and then aqua towards the blue, blue towards aqua and purple towards blue. This will help in achieving that slightly teal look to your night images. In this case, I also push the magenta towards the red to bring out more of the red colors. Finally, for the luminance sliders, I generally like to increase all of them just to brighten up the colors a bit more. Next, let's move on to the split toning. For this, I usually move the hue sliders towards the blue for both highlights and shadows, around 200 for the amount. And I only bring up the saturation sliders slightly, so it's not too overpowering. Usually around 10 is the max I'll go. And that's about it. For the final touches, I add some sharpening, add a bit of noise reduction, and also add a bit of vignette to bring more focus towards the center of the image. Last of all, I just go back to the top and retweak some of the tone sliders just to get the right look I want. And that's it. Check out this before and after. So now let's create this preset. I'm gonna be making a dynamic preset for you guys, which will adjust according to different ISO values. 
So first I'm going to copy and paste the settings to this other image which was shot at a different ISO and then tweak this other image so it also achieves the look I want. Then I select both the edited images and click on this create preset button. Rename it and click OK. And that's it, the preset is now created. So now let's test out this Demis Night Vibes preset on a few other night images. So I've imported these three other images and now to edit them, all you have to do is just click on the preset we just created. There are a few minor adjustments you might need to make. Like in this case, I would like the oranges to be more red. So just slide that over in the hue sliders in the HSL panel. But yeah, hopefully this preset helps you in your night photography editing. So to get this preset, all you have to do is just click the link in the description, sign up to my email mailing list, and then the preset will automatically be sent to your email. So that's it. Pretty easy, right? Let's take a look at all the before and afters. Alright, I hope you found this tutorial useful and you can apply the preset to your own night photos and tweak them until you're happy with the colors of your own night photos. But yeah, if you have any questions or any tutorial ideas you want me to make in the future, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more coming soon, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks so much for watching and remember to always push your creativity to the next level. Bye!